Hey there, this is the Market Dog Queen, and I hear it all the time. My thinkorswim doesn't look like your thinkorswim. And of course it doesn't. A thinkorswim is modified by each individual user. Each trader can make this thinkorswim program do whatever it is you need it to do to make you a better trader, okay? Right now, what we're looking at is the default load up screen, the home screen, if you will, for Thinkorswim. And it loads up with all of this stuff, okay? Over here, this is your account information. And, it, you know, when you fund your account, all that stuff will be right here. And that's all the information. It's always there in the top left-hand corner. Go ahead and close that down. I'm going to teach you how to set it up to get you from a ready, set, go on your thinkorswim. So you're ready? Let's go. Right now, we're going to look at everything over here on the left-hand side. We just closed down the drop-down menu for account info. Right here is light news. All of these widgets or gadgets are deletable, detachable. You can switch them out. You can do whatever you want. But for the sake of getting us to where we need to be, I am deleting all these gadgets. This here is Trader TV. You can go ahead and keep that or get rid of it. Let's go ahead and do what I think. So right here, there's a quick chart, and I don't need it right there. I like this place to be opened up right here. This is the watch list. We are basically set up, and this is a default watch list. What you want to do is you want to create your own watch list. So you go down here, you're going to create your own watch list. You're going to give it a name, and, you know, for the sake of whatever, we're just going to call it uh, Trade In, whatever. So we're going to save it. And there it is. It's named trading. And right here, you can load it up with whatever symbols you like. We could do AMD. You could do uh, a Apple if you like. You could do your Tesla if you like. And there you go. You could just keep on doing whatever you think you like. Maybe workhorse or whatever your positions are in, or whatever's moving. Um, there are plenty of things that we talk about every day, all these tickers. So as you can see, I just put a few on here. And as you load it, it loads up all of this like this. Now you can customize this with that little gear right there. Wherever you see a gear, you can customize it. Just click on that, and you can set up how you want the last, the change, the bid, the ask, what is important to you or not, okay? Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger, just for the sake of making it easier. This is our watch list. We just named it. This here is the symbol link. Kind of looks like a paperclip or something like that on the charts. You can click on that, and any color that you choose right there, you link it to the chart with the same color, so any ticker you pick, it will go ahead and auto-load it onto that chart. So I can have another, I can have another watch list. So let's go ahead, you hit that plus sign down there, you can click another watch list, all right? And of course it says default. Let's go ahead and pull this up here a little bit. But there's that paperclip link icon that I told you about. You click on that and you could change it. So when you set up your charts over on this right hand side, you can go ahead and link it to the yellow watch list and the red watch list. And we're about to do that. This little middle button right here can make the watch list disappear. Don't panic. It's still there uh, all the way to the far left. Click on it and it'll open it back up. I like to make my watch list smaller. I don't really need to see all that much information. What I want to see 
is actually, I like the bid in front of um, the last, and then I like to see the ask, and then over here, I actually don't like net change. I actually want volume. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to hit remove item, and then over here, I want to add volume. So I'm going to type in volume, and it's going to give me all of the volume choices, and I just want plain old, and then hit add item, and then hit OK, and then it added volume right there, and you can see there's the volume. Now I want to make these a little bit smaller so they fit better in my space. You've only got a limited amount of space on this desktop. You want to be able to see this stuff. All right, so now over to the right-hand side. I'm going to tell you true. I don't use anything over here. I don't use the home screen. I don't do anything. Let's go straight to charts. And there we go. We are empty. We are basic. And as you can see, it is linked to the red one. So if I clicked on Apple, it will automatically load Apple. If I click on Facebook, it automatically loads Facebook. This is the default chart that auto loads straight from Thinkorswim. Up here are all the things that you need to know about your chart and about how you set it up. Wherever you see a chemistry beaker, some people think it's an hourglass, whatever, it's a beaker. Wherever you see that, that is where you can set up your studies. And studies, here, let me cancel that. Studies are whatever indicators and sets that you use on your chart to help you gauge where the trade is going. All right. So right now, if I wanted to link this chart to this watch list that I made, I'm going to have to change the link color. So I'm going to have to make it yellow. So we'll go ahead and make it yellow. And there we go. Now we are loading everything you see right there all right we went from the home screen straight to charts and this is the main setup now this is the daily the yearly daily chart you got it the one year one day chart i like to trade with the five day five minute this is my default setting it's what i like it's the way i like it and there you go. This is exactly how it's set up. You've got this to where it's highlighted for after hours and pre-market. Um, we are in the five day, five minute. So now I need some studies. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this beaker. And that is going to open up my edit studies and strategies. Okay. So I do... I do want a few basic ones that you've seen me do. I've done Bollinger Bands. I've done, I've done the MACD. I've done VWAP. I've done, oh, I've done EMAs. I've done uh, Simple Moving Average Ribbon. I've showed you how to do all of those. Now, here are actual strategies. You can go ahead and load any of these strategies straight up. And this is also where the strategies that you copy from our studies, our studies uh, that Hop makes, um, th that's where these ones will be loaded. Like Hop by Cell, you'd add selected, and it would come up over here. There it is, all right? And then we do volume, or we could do sets, like the 1430 uh, Simple Moving Average, we can um, use that set and add that over there. You see, um, we could add uh, Bollinger Bands, use that set, and it just automatically loads whatever sets you have, whatever strategies you have, or whatever studies you have. You can save these sets, you can change their name, always click save this set, rename it. Whenever you do that, always hit apply. You can customize any of these studies by hitting the gear. For, for the sake of saving time, we're not going to go through that. We're just getting you up and running. 
So right now you can see I have a study here. Let's see what study I have. Let's load a study. I'm going to load my MDQ hop squeeze. <laughs> I do like to name things easier so I know what the hell I'm looking at. And you can see that it's loaded it up. You click down here on the magnifying glass, make it bigger. You can also click here and make it scroll back and forth if you click right on the chart, okay? Um, over here on the right-hand side is the sidebar, and this here has things that you, you will need. First off, you need L2, Level 2. Click on that. That opens up Level 2. Bid and Ask over here. Let's make that smaller. The smaller your Level 2 is, the better it is you see your chart and your studies, okay? Also, I like Time and Sales. That's TNS, and that will load up right here on the right-hand side. This is crucial to know about the trade. You need to know what they're paying, and you need to know how big they're buying and selling. This is crucial. Time and sales and level two. And there you go. You are set up from default to ready to trade. Ready, set, go. I'll talk at you later.